Oh. Let's, let's, get, let's get to the meat of this matter. You recall that when, when, when Parliament, when Speaker agent Parliament, sometime on 30th July this year, mm -hmm. CNDA, we had a lot of businesses to do. True. Again, the party that is in government and has a leader of government business in Parliament failed to prosecute some of these matters expeditiously. So they, they were in abeyance. But Parliament's term, the term has come to an end. So Speaker had no choice than to agenda the House CNDA. The next day, they wrote a stinker to, to, to the Speaker. And, and, and by way of that, recalling Parliament, Speaker considered it and recalled Parliament appropriately. We came back on the 4th of September, 2024. True. What happened? For that recall, the business committee, pursuant to the standing provisions are quoted copiously, met and considered business for that sitting in terms of priority, if they produce what we call the the business the 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 the, the, um, uh, the business statement for that meeting, mm -hmm. and in that business statement, they indicated on which days and which businesses will we deal with it. this. Is the, thank you. Said, yeah. This was signed by Afenu Markin, Alex and Nakwami Afenu Markin, the majority leader at the time. So, upon the commencement of proceedings, the business statement will be taken. It will be read. Members will have opportunity to make comments. They will be adopted. Mm -hmm. They will be taken to consideration. And speaker will adopt the business statement subject to the, 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 the adoption of those other comments. It is then that the House is properly constituted to go into matters. Today... He failed to do that. What you're saying is that business committee did not sit. Exactly. But they were supposed to meet yesterday? But I don't, I'm not a member. Okay, so whichever they were supposed to meet. Yes. But they didn't meet. Because I'm, I'm telling you that the, the last recall okay. that they, 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 they did, mm -hmm. and speaker responded, and we convened for that purpose, on the, on the fourth day of September, a business statement was prepared. Other papers were produced mm -hmm. for purposes of guiding the house as to which order of which businesses should be taken and in which order. True. Today he failed to do that. And yeah. instead of coming to the house to deal with your business, you are standing on the staircase of parliament and you are granting interviews. So do you know why that did not happen? I don't know. Because why. it's not just a fair market issue. It's the, the team meeting. Because but the business the chairman is the chairman of the business committee. I've just, just shown you his no, signature. I, I, get, I get the point. Yes. Are you saying that the rest of the people were available for a meeting and he didn't show up? Right. The committees of parliament are, are, are bipartisan. Mm -hmm. They were constituted by members from both sides. I'm not disputing that. Yes, and my we question, were ready. My question is he, that... He you see, I want you to get a point. You say that he convinced them. He convinced the meeting. Did he invite them and nobody showed up? I believe if he had invited them, would have had a copy of business statement for today. So, in and of itself, without a business statement, were you still? Would you have still been able to sit? You will sit, speaker. So we sat. Okay. That's that's what I'm demonstrating. I get that your point. speaker sat, mm -hmm. but speaker had no business statement, had no other paper to guide him. When you don't have both the other paper and the business statement, what do you do? Normally, if there are indications that they, they were being prepared okay. but they were not ready, we we'll suspend for like an hour for the order paper and the business statement. You know, they are, these are clerical administrative okay, matters. That's true. So they would have been hurriedly put together and, and made ready for members. Okay. So uh, when we return from suspension, then the matters are gone into. According to Speaker, there was no indication. That there will be a meeting, that there will be no, producing the business. No, the, there was no indication that the other paper, other paper and the, the nature of business, business will be made. Then ready. you go and hold a press conference and say that in your memo for a recall, you have detailed the businesses to be, to be done, to be considered. So that, that, that was sufficient for Speaker to proceed with business. But you were not on the floor. Is that in tandem with standing orders of the At parliament? all. In any case, 
in your memo containing the, the issues that you think we should, you should consider as part of this emergency recall, they have to be prioritized. Which one will be taken first? And in which order? It is the order paper. That's why it's called order paper. Order paper tells you which item is first, which item is second, which motion comes after which one. Is the absence of these two statement, uh, documents too egregious that Parliament cannot sit without them? Yes. Because they are procedural, you must have records. And they are, they are you see, every committee and its mandate. And forgive me. My forgive committee, me. subsidiary legislation committee, we could not be meeting to produce a, a business. A business. I understand you perfectly. Yes. I want.